Hello everybody, it is Serval. Welcome back to another Friday Night Dice. The bunch of friends getting together to play Dungeons & Dragons thanks to the internet, specifically Roll20. You can listen to these podcasts live right here on Saber Wolf Gaming. There's two M's in gaming every Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here. You know, or if you want the cut-down versions, the shorter versions of our podcasts or game events, you can head over to youtube.com slash saberwolf18. Or you can listen to the audio versions on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Odyssey, and Amazon Music. And on that note, we'll bring in the rest of the party. Hello, everybody. How are you doing this evening? Hey. Howdy there. Yes. Yay. Now, yeah. All right. So let's go back to uh, what we're looking at for the map-wise here. Again, you're heading into the uh, the Graying Wildlands, which is the northeastern portion of a wild mount here. You have to travel, you're going to be traveling through the Savalier Wood and uh, northward into the Pale Bank Village, which is in the Crystal Sands Tundra. Is this a different map? It is a, this is the zoomed in map. This is zoomed in. Like you had the world. I I cut into smaller maps. There's smaller versions of the maps to make it easier for you guys to like load it because that giant map takes forever to load. Um, so for those that don't have the best computers in the world, here this is the shorter. This is the smaller version. But all it's the maps are pretty, pretty the same. <laughs> but all the 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 humongous map in this map is basically the same. I just have zoomed in versions so we can th see things better and I have to scroll in, scroll out, and all that stuff. I, I got away with having two shitty laptops because I used them both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, while we're waiting for Maria, um, you now I know Joy and Sean were chit chatting uh, after the session on what direction we should all head in. Um, whether going through the woods or going through down a river, uh, I guess they wanted to chit chat with you guys both on that. Oh, I do. I see what you're saying. That they, you don't see the river. The river does all extend all the way to Shady Creek through here. I think that's on the World World map. Yeah, that's why I was like, uh oh. Okay, here. Well, I hate doing this to everybody, but if the map is slightly different, we'll switch over to that, which means it's going to take a bit to load. Oh, get the shitty computers out. <laughs> yep. Sorry, everybody. I mean, if the maps are that much different, it's going to take a minute to load. But yeah, the, as you can see, the river does extend all the way to Shady Creek. So, I mean, you can use the other map. Or, we know we know it's there. My computer does not have that much of a problem with this map. Oh God, you're going to have a problem with one map down the road. I'm going to have that map is huge. Well, dynamic lighting is what really like. Oh, that was a dynamic lighting. Yeah, day, you're right. Yeah, don't do that anymore. <laughs> okay, wow, this was this is a ridiculous thing. So that's yeah. a river and not a. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, I see. Yep, so yep. that is a river. Uh, there's two rivers flowing. This river does flow north, uh, out of the mountains here to just to the right, just to the right and left of you. Oh, I can't do that because I, I mean, does it come right. down from the lake or does it? Are we going up to the lake? Uh, well, the lake flows this way too, so both rivers meet here and they go this way. Okay. So this All river right. flows north. This one flows southwest, and it goes uh, northwest into the ocean. Now, is there uh, some sort of uh, ships, or not ships so much, but uh, you know, no. some sort of boats or something that that, that travel that, the river? Well, that's what I was suggesting that I could just make one. Um, and we could take that. Yeah, we have to make our own boat because, uh, from what I understood, uh, only bandits really come up this way. Bandits and fur traders. That's it. And even then, <laughs> that's, that's a that's a big tall order. And people that go into the Savalier Road tend to not come back. Um. So, what kind of boat can you make? Uh, it's just a good old five by ten, or a raft, maybe. 
What skills did I take? Well, I, I definitely have navigators, um, water skills. So then you can you can man the rudder, whatever I work up. I can show you what you're going to be working with if you want. Like the river? Oh. Okay, so we're going to be out Mariah for 30 minutes. Uh, she has to help her mother with something. So she'll be back in 30 minutes. Uh, but we will continue without her, and she'll she'll join us when she can. Um, mm -hmm. Let me find what I'm looking for. <laughs> I cannot find what I'm looking for. There's four of us. And I'm not... I, I am ah. limited by size. So, like, the most I can do is, like, raft or... Does that work for you? I mean, yeah, I can make that out of ice and just cover it in stuff to not be so cold. Well, the cold doesn't really get to you till you get out of the Savalier Woods. It would be made out of ice. Yeah, did we buy some oh, stuff? Fair enough. Like we bought weather gear. weather gear. We did, yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so there, you will not have to be taking cold, cold rolls when facing the elements when you head north. Because you spent like twenty five gold on that, I think it was. So yeah. So yeah, we'll be fine. Just, just put a blanket on wherever you're sitting, and you'll be fine. Sick. Yeah. Uh, uh, sit uh, next to Reese. <laughs> Not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm from Nicodranus. Yeah, you don't you don't do cold. I've never seen snow, so this is going to be an adventure for me. Yes. Um, mm. So just to make sure, you guys are taking the boat now. What are you doing with the horses? That was going to be my next question. What are we doing with the horses? I mean, we have to dump them. It's not like we can take them in the snow anyway. But how are we going to traverse the the next leg of the river? Because we have to get up. Because the, 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 I can't read that. What's it say? Something like uh, closed down. So we don't have a propelling system to get us, you know, through the current. Yeah, well, so you either I have mean, to dump out here we're not going or you have to take all right. this all the way down and come back inland. <laughs> yeah, we are going up this way into the tundra up here. So maybe it's best just to take the horses, period? Not... Well, the, the horses are not going to survive the tundra. Okay. All right. Well, that's fair. <clears throat> yeah, they're also not... They're not going to help us very much in the woods. Yeah. Right, we'll get we'll get as we'll get as far as we can, and then we I guess we're on foot then, right? Yep. Yep. All right. Um, uh, sounds like a plan. Let's my, do it. My idea was just take the boat to the intersection intersection mm -hmm. and, and go straight north from there. Okay, sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Uh, would would it help to turn our cart? What are we doing with the cart? I thought we were putting it in your ring. Uh, it doesn't fit in the I, ring. I think we established that. Well, yeah, it, it, it takes it the does, wheels off. It does if we like deconstruct it a tiny bit. Okay. And then yeah, I can. I, I, you can always pick up another wagon. There's it nothing was, special about this wagon, right? Reese wasted a lot of money on it. It was a bit. Maybe we uh, could sell it. I. We could try. We could try to sell the horses too. I mean, it's not like the company is getting them back at this point. Is it? Is it a flat wagon? I mean, is it like a? Can we use I, the, the 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 piece of the wagon? As the boat? It is a covered carriage. 
I sprung for the real expensive version. Right. So if we take the cover off and we take the wheels off and we take the axles off, we have a flat bottom boat, right? I could reinforce it with ice, uh, round it out, make it more buoyant. I mean, what do you think? And all we need is some sort of uh, rudder, a rudder system. Um, this, of course, nobody took carpenter's tools, right? I mean, I have some. I have. Uh, I have wood carvers. Um, either way, we could just, you know, have you and Reese with good old Bold. manpower. I'd... Yeah, uh, Reese can try his hand at, at steering. Uh, maybe like grab one of the axles as an oar. That's the word I was looking for. Oars. Marco and Reese can do oars. Like Marco has the proficiency. Reese has the physicality. I'm better with the rudder than the oar. <laughs> I imagine. But that's like a little more complicated. And I think past the abilities of a cantrip. Probably. Yeah. So, deconstructing the carriage. Putting all the unnecessary parts in the ring. Turning the rest into a boat. And rowing, uh, on, rowing on to the route. Can, we can't so we, make a makeshift uh, rudder? Out of the, of the parts of the wagon, I'd say... Uh, or enjoy... something in town or buy something. Well, Joy, That's... you said you had woodcarver tools. Is that what you have? Woodcarver... <laughs> I would say yeah, th I would say that's close enough and since they are assisting you I say go ahead and roll that with advantage because they're, they're assisting you because you have multiple hands helping you with this I'm, I'm letting you know how what it should look like exactly yeah yeah Paul has experience with things that float and yeah I'd say you did a good job and uh, 28 oh boy I roll really well when it comes to crafting, and I'm very happy about it because I love that. <laughs> well, you're doing your job as an artificer. <laughs> okay, and you're gonna set set. I not was was gonna say set sail, but set the boat on the water. I think, uh, <laughs> you're gonna use your cantrip to give it a better, more buoyant shape, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. And, oh, and was... away we go. Oh, and, like, you guys have the oars, and I can use shape water to, like, make sure the currents aren't sending us straight to rocks. To rocks, or the ruins of uh, Malazmir. <clears throat> well, I figure Reese will be on one side. Um, I'm going to be in the back with the rudder. And somebody needs to be on the other side, kind of just with the poles, just kind of keeping us in the middle. That's Nick. Yeah. Yep. And, and somebody will have, have to, to, somebody have to roll for Nick until uh, she gets back. Yeah, everybody's helping each other. Chris <coughs> is on the left, Nick is on the right, Marco's on the back, and I'm in the front. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> we got it. We got it dispersed, the, the weight dispersed as evenly as possible. <clears throat> Sorry, what's the order you guys going to be sitting in the boat here? I'm in the rear. You're in the rear? Who else is in the rear? That's it. Just you in the rear. He's in the, he's in the right. rear doing, doing the rudder. The rudder. 
All right. Uh, Reese, you on the right or the left? Uh, I recommend left because the ruins are on the left, so you could, you know, push us away from that. At Lady Kai's uh, suggestion, I will be on the left. All right, and Nick's going to be on the right then of you? That is correct. And then the middle boat's going to be Kai and Tomlston. I'm in the front. Oh, oh yeah, Tomlston. I'm keeping an eye out and shape watering. Okay, well, there's only, okay, the boat, there's only three rows in the boat, okay? There's not four or five here. <laughs> So, so Reese, Reese and Nick will have to sit next to each other, and Thomas, Tom, Thomaston and Kai will have to sit next together. Okay, so Thomaston and I will be in the front, Reese and, Mar and Nick in the middle, and Margo in the back. Do you want, that... you want Reese in the middle? Because uh, the people who have to poke well, at boulders and stuff have to be in the front. Well, no, they'd be on the sides. Okay. I mean... Uh, all right, yeah, they'd uh, be in the front. I, I, I see what I've you're nude and white rode a rafter before, so I'm just saying. <laughs> that, I'm good with whatever, man. So, so yeah, the people who are poking are going to be in the front? Yeah, people you want poking okay. away from rocks need to be in the front. That's fine. <laughs> and that would probably be Reese and apparently Nick. Yeah, fortunately you don't have a third like strengths character in the party oh uh, what is uh character. what is the uh how strong is he the the uh npc tomlston yeah he's got a negative two not. all right so well <laughs> i got a negative one so i'm not using the or i'm also a negative one yeah all his points nick are at least has a in constitution so <laughs> nick at least has a positive strength okay well there you go that's yeah. those are two i'll give him guidance yeah, actually, Nick has all of Nick's stats are at least a plus one. Yeah, Mariah rolled pretty good. Unlike me. <laughs> yeah, I think she took all your luck. Okay, that's interesting. I see a little line. Okay, go way down here. Here we go. Yep, so everybody needs to be at the bottom of the screen here. Yeah. I, I yell at Reese, let's not hit that big thing in the middle. <laughs> All right, so, oh. this, so this is going to be a challenge event to try to navigate your way down the river. Uh, okay, I love these. Um, so oh your first challenge, you're in the middle of the river, you're setting, uh, you shove off. Uh, you're coming up on the very first obstacle. It's kind of a raised uh, tree branch in the water. Uh, which way do you want to go, right or left? Um, can all right. So, being that I do have navigator tools, water, uh, looking mm -hmm. coming up upon this thing, uh, would I? Can I roll for to see which maybe way is the better way? Uh, make an assessment. Uh, yeah. So, what you're seeing is what you see in front of you. Uh, you see this debris here in the middle that got caught up on some rocks. And then further just past that, you kind of see what might be a fork in the river. Right. So there could be a left um, and a right. So right now we need to avoid this this first obstacle, right? Right. So yep. looking at it, is 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 there more room on the right or more room on the left? I guess that's what I'm trying to it's get about, to. It's about the same. All right. So when in doubt, go left. Because uh, west is best. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm just left-handed, and I like the left. Oh, okay. It's always, <laughs> always a shorter line. At the little little secret, guys. When in doubt, go left because there's always a shorter line on on the left hand side. All right, go ahead and make a roll using your uh, navigation expertise. I believe it gives you like uh, options in the uh, listing uh, right there. I don't know what the. All right, navigator tools. So that's, doesn't that's, really tell me. Uh, that's under backgrounds, well, right? Yeah. Because I'm a yeah. sailor. So tools can tools are assumed to be able to use any uh, ability. 
at the DM's request. Um, some generally have... So this would probably be either strength or dexterity. Yeah, so whichever statistic would be better for you, strength or dexterity, which I'm assuming is going to be dexterity. Yeah. And you can add your proficiency modifier to that. All right, so why don't I just roll a d20, and let's see what we get, right? Okay, so plot a course. Okay, yep, so... I got a 7, plus my proficiency is plus 2, plus my dexterity is plus 2. Whew. Okay. So. Oh, the DC is a 10, so you barely made it. <laughs> I, I'm a little rusty. I haven't been on the water in I don't know how long. Okay, you said left, right? I did. Go on Correct. Left. All right, you navigate around the first set of debris. Now you're port coming side. up. Now you co port side. <laughs> the port! Out the port! Um, Art the port! Uh, so now you're coming up on this fork in the road here, fork in the river, rather. Uh, you want to go left or right? Uh, can we see anything more? This is all we see. Uh, that's all you see, unfortunately. That's that's. I kind of had built it. Had to build it this way. <laughs> okay. Well, where we need to go is on the left, right? Correct. Um, it's the river straight through. You're not at the fork in the road yet. Uh, this is just this is just while you're on the river. Yeah, we kind of want to avoid staying on the left side because that's where the ruins are. Okay, so uh, hard to starboard. We're all going, right, so this going is going to be a higher side. DC because you got to cross all the way across to the opposite side of the river side here. So yep. DC is going to be a little bit higher to get higher there. Reese will, no. will help the shop left. Okay, so... We can all, um, I, can, I can do two things. I could either make a like a water slide type uh, formation or I could just change the flow of the water with shape water. Okay, so make it. So, how do you change the flow of water? Is that like a spell you have? Yeah, shape water. Okay. Um, I would say go ahead. So they're both assisting you. So go ahead and Paul make the roll with advantage. The DC is going to be a little uh, higher still, but at least you have advantage on the roll because you got to cross like to the opposite side of this river area. Uh, so 16 is the highest one, plus two plus for the, proficiency, plus, plus two four, for so dex. 20. Yep, that's a 20. All right, you get to the right-hand side of the river now. All right, so you're heading down to the right side here, and we'll take this part away. And as you're going down, you come up on several bands of rapids. Should have went left. <laughs> All right, so through this uh, thing, you're just going to have to do navigation here, so you're going to have to keep rolling to see unless you capsize. Now, you have three separate rolls to get through three separate sets of rapids. We're going to do the same thing? Yep. Yeah, so I'm, this would be I'm a group rolling. thing. So if uh, is that... Do you have to cast a spell each time, right? Because that's a level spell? Pretty much, yeah. All right. If oh, it's one... a cantrip, but yes. Oh, it's a cantrip? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it is assisting, and um, so it'll be a group check of whichever direction you're going in. So as you come for the first one, this is pretty much a group check for everybody. So it'll be everybody, but really Tomlinson, because Tomlinson's not really helping. So I need a strength yeah. check from Reese and Nick. And Joy is, I'll say Joy is assist if you, it's a cantrip, so it doesn't really cost you anything. So I'll say it's an advantage to her. Uh, Paul to help with the navigation to get in the boat to pitch in that direction. Okay, so that, that was oh. and that was for Ooh. Nick. Ouch. Uh, Nick has guidance. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't need it. I I I rolled very bad. Okay, but they and saved you on that with uh, two over twenties. One of me in that twenty, so they did help you through that. So a little squirrely, but you managed to get through the first set of rapids. All right, now we have the second set of rapids to get to the left. So unfortunately, oh, Reese, yeah. you're out for this one because it's a left-hand turn. Hard to port. Hard to okay. port. 
So this would be a roll for Nick and advantage for Paul as uh, Joy keeps helping Paul out here. Oh my god. Uh, that's these fucking rolls. Yeah, that's a 12. That's, yeah, that's a 12. That's a 12. And for Nick it is... Oh, that is four. a 4. This is not oh, well, it's... All right, so you're going a pretty close to... I can turn you guys here. To make it look a little more real. <laughs> so you guys are getting very close to the rocks. Go ahead and make another save to try not to crash into the rocks here. Much better Two than Paul. Nice. I'm to save myself that time. And another roll for Nick. Nick. So I was 24. <coughs> Good. All yeah. right, you got you managed to escape the rocks there to the left. Now I know why people don't take rafts down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is um, being doing really good with these strengths. All right, All right, so now we're gonna make a very hard turn to right to so get around this little narrow gap. So this will be Reese in Paul. That's better. Yep, that's fine for Paul. 19. 14. Middling. It's fine. Your guys are good. In one more roll to get around this corner here. Seventeen. That's fine. That's fine. Yep, you got around the corner. Good job, guys. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do another hard to port here. Yeah, so now you have another turn to left. So this would be Nick in uh, Paul here, or Nick and Marco rather. Guidance. Uh, Nick has guidance. He's casting guidance every time. <laughs> yeah, I am constantly casting on everybody. It's, this is why really not. Good. Okay. <laughs> well, you only can't target one person with it, so. <laughs> yeah, it's well, like... it's going to Nick. All right, and now a group check. This is another rapid to try to make sure you don't capsize. Am I doing this with advantage or just a regular check? You're still doing advantage because because uh, uh, Lady Kai is helping you. All right, so that's 16, 18, right, Reese 20. Is, Reese is fine. That's close. Okay, yep, you balanced out. So the DCs for all that was 15 each, and you managed to get through. Left better, or about the same. Uh, left would have been a combat. <laughs> ah, dog it. <laughs> oh, Paul is so so pissed. I mean, we could do the combat anyways if you want. <laughs> just no, for no, some just action. Play, play the game the way you're playing it. All right, all right. Just uh, just uh, so it doesn't go to waste because I did stay up till midnight last night doing it. All right, uh, well. this was the this was going to be the battle map for it. Oh, well, we could still do it if you want. We have to pull over at some point. We're not going to get there in one day, are we? Uh, you will be kind of near the fork. Uh, you'll be at the fork of it by the end of the trip, so you will have to sleep on the northern shore probably for a long rest. It is going to take you a day to get all the way down river. Because obviously going through all those rapids and everything is going to be exhausting. I am micromanaging managing and it's fucking exhausting. <laughs> well, we lost Sean and Mariah, so I'm not going to um, probably go into combat. But you would have basically fought five of these buggers is what it would have been. Nice. Yep, mutated mu mutated piranhas. Adorable. We get the raft up on the uh, shore. Uh, yep. Um, tie it off. You never know. Might need it again. Um, I mean, if you come back this way, yeah. All right. Is it? Um, are we setting up camp for the night? It is very late. Um, be a little dangerous. So, you might have to find. You have to make survival. To try to find some protective cover somewhere. I mean, there's no. Well, I got an idea for that. That's why I was asking. Okay. Um, 
So, is is this like is from the other map? It looked like this is like forest, right? Yeah, this is a heavily yeah. dense forest okay. with uh, the trees are very um, dark in color with like very unsettling feel of like corruption into the soil into the nature that is around you um, so which... things are not natural they don't feel as natural as some of the woods or planescapes that you probably have traversed in your past is the is the wind blowing from the north to the south or which, which way is the prevailing wind here let me look my finger and tell you <laughs> It is it is blowing uh, west to east. So what I would like to do, what I would like to suggest, if we could drag the boat, <laughs> the, I'm doing air quotes, the boat up on the shore far enough and we could like make a makeshift lean to. Oh, I see what you're saying. Now, I have block and tackle. And I also have fishing tackle. So after we do this, I want to start doing a little fishing. So see if we can get some dinner. Okay. So I don't know if that if so I, if that's possible. I think that would be good. And then have a couple people grab some firewood. Get a fire going. Uh, yeah, Reese will work on the fire. <laughs> that's, oh yeah, that's, that's, your that's main right. Job. <laughs> Firewood. Well, first, I need, first, we need your strength to get to, to get the lean to all squared away. <laughs> all right, I'll be a workhorse. Yep. And as for fishing, go ahead and make a survival edge your proficiency because you are using uh, some tackle to go with it. Uh, survival. And add your and add the plus two to your fish proficiency as well. Right. Okay. Whatever <laughs> this is, plus two. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a flat roll. Yeah. Well, not getting much of a eight. nibble. Not Son much of a what? nibble. Bummer. All right, well. You so. do have rations, though, so you do have some. Yeah. Yep, me. Got rations. Why All right, so I am going to cast before we get too far into things. I am going to cast Mage Armor on myself. <laughs> mage Armor to go to bed with? Yep. Yeah, Thomas is going to do the same thing with you. Mm -hmm. uh, is he also uh, casting his non section? I'll do some alarms here and there. Oh, that's right. No, he used a spell slot. Yeah, I forgot he used a spell slot today already. Mm hmm. I forgot he's down to second level. <clears throat> For the practical joke he did. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> As we're sitting around the campfire eating our uh, our meal. I like to say that was that was good teamwork today, guys. You'd make pretty good sailors. That was a lot of close calls. Seemed worse. Yeah, sailing is nothing like that. <laughs> Unless you're doing it in a store, I guess. Just remember, port okay. is the left side of the ship. And how you remember that, port has four letters. Left has four letters. There you go. Cool. What's uh? What's what? What are your words for front and back then? Uh, bow and stern. Cool. Up and down. <laughs> Up and down. <laughs> well, I didn't. Nobody has said what right is. What's that? Our so it's funny, nobody has said what right is. Well, starboard. If oh, okay. port's left, starboard's right. Has more letters. As the uh, as darkness comes upon we us. Would, we would I need am... to extend the rest by two hours to get two people on every watch.
Well, it's usually three watches, right? Yep. Yeah, it's three Ooh, watches. Wait. And Kai could take two of those watches, but still. We have. We also do have Thomas been here, so. Yeah, Thomas could take a watch. So it's, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you have enough to teach. No, you can still do it in eight, eight hour, because Thomas then can jump in yeah. for a watch. Yeah, so we can. We can do two people on every watch. Uh, whatever, whatever watch Reese was on, I think Tomlinson will take two. All right, so that'll be one of the ones that Lady Kai is not on. Right. To see how it is. Uh, just, what? You know, <laughs> Lady Kai will remember this. I, but, we don't need three people on watch. I don't. I haven't seen my friend in like years. This is a strange statue. It's a map I pulled. <laughs> but again, this is a ruins of a very ancient elven. Um, Empire area, so you know the ruins of such place. I'll uh, Marco takes out his eye patch and puts a patch over one eye while he's facing the fire. Oh, yeah, I forgot you do that. Okay, so who has the first watch? Um, so there's two of us there's two people well, per yeah. watch uh, Lady Kai wants right. to take a two if she wants to yeah makes life easier I'll yeah. take the first watch that's fine <clears throat> All right. and I'll put yeah. my back to the fire and lift up my eye patch does Lady Kai want to join him, or should Nick? Um, well, Nick. Well, Lady Kai has to go with Marco and Nick individually. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. And I will do just that. So I figured we'd be like at opposite ends of the camp. Okay, so you, guys, you, you, guys, you guys do have control over your pieces, so. So like this, I'm assuming. Yeah, but Lady Kai is over here. Oh, or is it Nick? Right. It's like that. Yeah. This is a weird circle. Well, you have a lean to of well, you have a boat. I'm trying to put you guys where like kind of the boat was leaning. And on a grid system, you can only do so much. <laughs> so that looks good. Yeah. All right. So if you two have the first watch, go ahead and make a perception checks on your watch individually. And I'm assuming you guys have a fire going all night, or yeah. yeah. I forgot about uh, my, my my fish as well. Oh yeah, you can have your fish out. Yep, you can go. And, I think you can I, them on the screen. I think you have access to that. We should keep the fire low, though, like just enough to be warm, but like not a roaring fire or just a. Yeah, uh, we could put it. Uh, <laughs> I know this little survival trick where you make a hole, and. The smoke is a lot less. Yeah, just fire draws attention. <clears throat> just waiting on Joy's roll. Oh, shit. Sorry. Did 
do you want me? I have two mice and they're both the exact same. So I keep getting confused because I have two <laughs> black mice. It's, they're right next to each other because there's no other space. Put a piece of tape on them, a blue one and a red one. Keep the red one on the right. If I had tape, I'd do that. That's a great idea. Hey, uh, well, I'd say that because we do have that at work. We have four mice to four different computers at work, and each one has a different color tape on them. Um, do you want nail polish. To, do you want me to roll with advantage, or do you want my space guppy to roll separately? Uh, yeah, you can roll advantage. They're kind of helping you. That's fine. Just to make it simple. Okay. Nothing happened. Nothing eventful. If you two want to converse during your thing, you can. Um, I still haven't sat down and told you guys about my husband. Uh, so instead, I'll ask you about you. So you're a sailor. I uh, am a sailor. What exactly brings you all the way over here again? I don't... Well, I've been sailing my whole life, basically, since I was eight years old, I got on a ship. And now that I'm a little older, I wanted to see the rest of the world besides up and down the coast. Um, one morning I woke up and I was having, I don't know, some premonitions or weird feelings and I found that I could do magic. Um, I'm an orphan, as you know, so I have no idea. I just have no idea. So I, I didn't think I, I didn't want to go. I don't want to be a sailor anymore. Uh, just because I just felt that there was something more for me. So here I am. Oh, so you're just trying to find out more about yourself and where to go in life? Trying to find my family. Oh. Whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Or wherever it leads me. I don't know. It's just, you know, I just feel like adventuring. What about you? Well, um, I'm very old, as you've heard many times. Um, uh, and I haven't really done much other than just make families and, you know, live normal lives. So I figured I'd give something different a try. And then, you know, I found out that my daughter is in trouble, so I have to go get her and help her. Okay, well, I'll help you with that. You can count on me. That'll be my mission. Now, do do, do we know that you, you and the uh, god got together? Yeah, I, like briefly mentioned it but i was like confused about it as well so i haven't really sat down and like gave, given everyone the details so it's like two nights ago uh, you're gonna notice marco's kind of a smart ass too so he's gonna say uh so you banged a god how was that honestly mid <laughs> i mean where do you go from there I mean, there's a god, and then, wow. Well, our relationship wasn't very, it wasn't all, it wasn't full of banging. It... He was a fairy, or so I thought. So, we're both very long-lived species that are mostly asexual, so it was more mm -hmm. just sharing 50 or so odd years together. Interesting. Well, we'll see where that takes you. 
Uh, hopefully your daughter will be okay. We'll we'll figure it out. And I walk away, maybe put another log on the fire, but not too much. All right, who has the uh, second watch? Uh, uh, sounds like this. Nick. Yep, one Nick. All righty. Nick over there, right? Yep. And so make a roll for Nick and Lady Kai. Go ahead and make another roll. Oh, that's right. Nick actually has good perception. Nobody has a great perception, actually. I I chose some wrong numbers, man. I, I got some. I, you know. But it is what it is. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Unfortunately, Mariah's not with us, so can't really have too much of a conversation. So, yeah, like, what's up with your stuff? And, yeah, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I could, well, I I could do, say... Nick, uh, I don't remember shit. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? Um, no, there was a direction that she wanted to go in, actually, but um, she's not here, so I'll, wait, I'll hold off on that. Um, but you do, uh, but Lady Kai, because Nick had a low roll there. Uh, Lady Kai, you do hear a rumbling sound uh, coming from uh, this direction. I'm sorry, I'm the wrong layer. This direction over here. Oh. Um. I make sure to stay very still. It's getting louder. Uh, I'm gonna wave my hand in minor illusion, some brushery over us. I, I mean, minor illusion's not very big. Nope. All right. Anything else you're going to do, or it's getting louder? <laughs> Definitely hitting your way. I mean, if it gets into alarm range, everyone's going to be woken up. Uh, what's the range on the alarm? 20 foot cube, right? I typically set up like a triangle of 20 foot cubes. Mm. So, um... <laughs> So about that right now. Are you on the layer? Uh, Twenty feet is actually up to here, actually. Well, no, because. D and D cubes measure from edge. Oh yeah, it's edge. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, it's not as big. I made the cubes, but I can't move them. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, that's fine. We're all in them. So, okay. So, are you doing anything before that, or? Um. Well, I let Nick know. And I'm getting ready. Uh, uh, just like tapping people. Okay, right about now, the alarm goes off. Alarm's going off right here. Ding! Oh, and everybody hears that. Okay. So as you fear the, hear the see the direction coming from that way, you do see uh, this uh, pop over Ooh. through the brush. Adorable. A very large, <laughs> six-legged uh, wild boar 
bigger than any of you ever seen before is charging for your camp right now. Okay. Yeah. Um. Can we cast something? Or are we doing initiative? What are we doing? How are you reacting to this? They're just they're just charging right straight for your camp. Um, is 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 this area trees or? <clears throat> yeah, so the trees you do see is on on the screen. It's just very misty and dark, so you really only see the edge of the fire that you have here. So, I mean, you only the fire only kind of goes out to about here, so you're just seeing it come into view now. I want to throw web. Well, web I, I don't know if I, I'm going to try if there's trees that I could, you know, stick the web on. Uh, well, yes, that, what you see, what you I have, because you have a tree here and you have the closest of the trees here or over here. So like, that's it. That'd be a web. Sounds like a plan. Um, we'll try that. So you want me to put this on there? Um, okay. What's the save on that? It's a strength, right? Uh, dexterity on its, on its turn. Yeah. Dexterity? On its turn. It'll be DC 14. I got a really shitty um, DC here. <laughs> I guess I'll throw a magnify gravity. Ho hopefully that helps. A what? Magnify gravity. Oh. Hopefully that will help it stick to those webs. I don't know, man. Okay. Well, the web does stick it down. Reese. Pork chops. Uh, Reese is getting up, you know, dusting himself off, turning his skin into magma. Nice right, so armor, I got this for you. Anybody else doing anything? As a prep round, I know that may have mage armor on uh, Marco and uh, Tomlinson. I woke up, so I don't have a shield on. No, I'll just bless everyone instead. So I'm just going to move this over to here. Just for the web effect deal. Yep. And these will go away now. Because you had you had your alarm and you had your uh, weapons and all, so this is an opening round before we would roll initiative. Um, uh, you know we're trying to rest anyway. Might as well make it a rage, too. Okay. Alrighty. So we'll, uh, oops. It's been a while. I don't remember if I have any bonus action. <laughs> Alright, gonna get done roll for initiative then. Oh, Blade Song! I've never used it! Hey, there you go. Oh, yeah, Nick. Um, Didn't somebody else have a uh, weapon of warning? Yeah. Mm, Nick uh, does. Nick does? Yeah, Nick uh, has a. Nick, uh, is it Nick has. No, Nick has the sword. Never mind. It's me and Marco. It's me and Marco. Yeah. You, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Joy does. Yeah. Hey, the gift of alacrity, it works. 
I got to roll for this. I'll just use this for the stat sheet. Oof. Ugly. I rolled a six with advantage on initiative. <laughs> Still beat them. All right. And a one on my gift on a D8. Well, Nick is up first. Um, what would they like to do? Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. Good question. You know, well, let's try this fancy new spell Nick has called Eldritch Blast. That is a 13. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, sorry. 13 is a hit. Oh, it's hit. Cool. Oh, come or... on. Really? That's not a PNG, people. <laughs> God, I hate it when they do two that. Two force damage. Does Nick have... Nick does not have any invocation. So, yeah, two force damage. Nope, that's a JPEG. Doesn't have crush a feet, does he, by any chance? Uh... Even if it, oh wait, it's it, force, it's force. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, Again, although that being said, <laughs> Nick is a genie warlock, right? No, no, I'm Ooh. gonna be the genie. Yeah. Right. No, he Nick? is a genie. Everybody's a yeah, genie warlock except for, I believe you, because you were gonna do. Uh... But what type of genie is he? He's the genie, I believe. So is that would be an extra D. I think it would be an extra proficiency bonus, right? Plus two. Yeah, so plus two lightning damage, I think. Is it plus two lightning damage? Yeah. Yeah. There, we got something now. All right. <clears throat> you said two lightning damage. All right. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. I guess I can get rid of all that. That is, we'll knock it down to that. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, not at this time. All right. <clears throat> Marco's up. <clears throat> Let's see. What do I yeah, want and to do answer your question, Nick, is yeah, lightning or air or whatever. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's uh, thunder damage. <clears throat> yeah, it does. Yeah. Damage type doesn't really matter for this one. Fair enough. Let's just hit it with a ray of frost. Uh, we really do have the. Uh... Eh, let's not hit it with a ray of frost. Is it any restrained? We don't know yet. <laughs> oh. And I'm going to move. So move out the way. Yeah. Well, yeah. we don't know. We don't know if it's restrained yet. It's not its turn because it's it it does his thing on its turn, right? Yeah. Oh. At the start of the turn, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anything else for you there, Marco? I think I am done. All right. Tomlston's turn. Uh, 
Let's see, Tomlinson will. Hmm, there's not much options to do here. I guess he'll just cast a firebolt at it. For a miss. Down, down. He's gonna pull. Uh, back into here, just out of the way. Lady Kaiser. Okay, so, um, uh, where exactly are the webs? It's the box that's right it's here. I, I moved your alarm. That's pretty much the box of the web. Oh, okay. So I repurposed things. I repurposed things. <laughs> I am going to do my class teleport thing. I teleport there, and then I'm gonna try to horn with them. Okay. Yes. Also, he doesn't have a turn. I know. I, I, his turn is uh, hidden. Where is there? It is. You have thorn with them. Uh, they'll be hit for the thorn whip. It's one damage, but he gets pulled ten feet. Uh, ten feet which direction? Towards you? Yep, towards me. Um... Checking the size. It's large or smaller. Yeah, I'm just making sure. It's technically... Technically large. So, yep, you're good. You're good. Good job. All right. We Reese really is up. Are... I rolled really, really bad, Reese. <laughs> 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 it rolled a... I think uh, I rolled a six. No, I rolled a five. <laughs> Yeah, um, <coughs> pull out my second axe and rage. Yep, you're in your raging, going... so yep. So, yep, I got you. Uh, 15 is a hit, and hand axe. that's also a hit. Or 14 uh, damage. 14, alrighty. Okay, anything else? Uh, no. Okay, it is the Warhog, giant Warhog's turn. Let's see, I got a first roll for dexterity save and throw first. Mm-hmm. All right, that is a two. I don't think, I think he's stuck in the web. <laughs> so it's going to use a strength check to break free of it, or his turn. Uh, what's the DC? Yep. 14. He rolled a 14, rolled a nine, plus five. Okay. So he is going to break free. He gets uh, full movement, right? Um, But it's difficult to rain. Yeah. So, terrain, so 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, 
All right, he gets to the fire and starts stamping out the fire. Gets an opportunity attack, right? Yeah, you do get an opportunity attack from uh, Reese if you want to take it. Uh-huh. That'll be... Hand X. <laughs> 24 definitely will hit. And I'm going to check something real quick with Genie's Vessel. Uh, Genie's Wrath it has to be on my turn. Okay. Yeah, it's not your turn right now. Oh. Uh, another 12 damage. Okay. So it's going to start stomping out the fire. The fire is out now. Yeah. yeah, at the same time, let's see. Uh... Actually, he had to break free. That was his first turn. So he just ran over and stomped out the fire. Top of the round, uh, Nick is up now. Indeed. And he doesn't okay. have this effect on him anymore. And I think, uh, you know, I mean, Nick got, went through all sorts of trouble getting this short sword. Why not use it? Oh, yeah, he's got a nice short sword. Yeah, right. 18, uh -huh. 18 should be a hit, right? Yep. And just making sure I've not missed anything on Nick. Yeah. Four damage. Okay. Still alive. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, why not? Throw a. Who wants a bardic inspiration? Marco's the only one that's not blessed. Marco, you get a bardic inspiration. Cool. Oh, is uh, is uh, Thomaston blessed? Oh no, I just you know. Oh, he doesn't count. He's not a member of the party. Okay, so it okay, is. Okay, so it is. Yep. He'll remember that. <laughs> anything, else? anything else for Nick? That, that seems like it's it. All right, uh, Marco. Before your turn, you hear a yelp behind you as Thomas says, "Guys, I need a little help here." As in the corner where the vines are, you realize that the vines are actually uh, real, and they lash out and they grab Tomlinson. I didn't like him anyway. Um, Nothing but trouble. Goodbye. All right. One catastrophe at a time. All right. And. Okay. Does take ten damage. Let's see. He is grappled. And that's it for now. Uh, Marco, you're up now. <sighs> How damaged is this thing? Yeah, it's looking hurt, but it's not really. It wasn't, but it's not attacking you. It's just, it's just stomping out the fire in front of you. I know, but I'm thinking pork chops, so. though. Um, <laughs> uh, Do you want to uh, eat the pork chops? It has like four eyes. What's that? It, do, it is. It is what it looks like. It has four eyes, 
two gigantic horns. It has six legs. I mean, that's just the typical wart hog in chore house. I'm sure it's tasty. <laughs> We're going to do some shit. I'm going to use two sorcery points. Okay. Um, and you let me know if I can do it in this order. I want to do my... I want to do my... Uh, my uh, cantrip first, and then I'm going to cast a spell. I mean, yeah, as long as the spell is a bonus action. If you're it, quickening it, it, it is. so yeah, that's fine. So... What I want to do is um, mind sliver this thing. Okay. So I need an intelligence of 14 saving throw. Um, let me check something on that. Then. Isn't there like a requirement though? What do you mean? Uh, mm, there... Can you pass the spell? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, that's not okay, the one that's I thought it was. One. Never mind. Yeah, okay, I, I know what you're thinking of. But like, it has to be so smart, right? I mean... Yeah, that's a different so, one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's intelligence check, right? Yeah. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Uh, zero. <laughs> cool. So let me roll the damage first. <laughs> I rolled a four. Just... Minus four right. is a zero. <laughs> he, he took three points of damage. Okay, still up. Uh, okay, and I am going to cast <coughs> Vortex Warp. So I need a constitution saving throw, but it also does 1d6, right? Uh, uh, yeah, intelligence, psychic damage. Yeah, 1d4. Yeah, 1d4 minus whatever the uh, roll is. Okay, so Constitution saving throw. That's a nine, so it misses. So I want to put him in the middle. You're going to put him I'm back in the web again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now you understand the shenanigans, right? Yeah, I understand the shenanigans. All right. So do I have a bonus action? You already used it. You just used it. Spell. Okay, I used it for the spell. Shit. Well, uh, Nick is going to have to wait for another turn before I can get him out of there. Um, there let me Almost go three. five. We yeah, had 10, 15, 20. Well, was there a save involved in him getting wrapped up? What's that? I think so. They should have been. Uh, uh, I don't uh, oh, yeah, Marco, you're getting an attack of opportunity on you. Oh, why? Uh, then a, I won't move. I won't a, move then. Well, you wouldn't know that. He has a 20-foot reach. All right, well, go ahead. Uh, 14? 14 is a miss. <laughs> All right, it missed you. Anything else? My AC is 15. No, I'm I'm done. All right, Tomlinson's up. He's going to have to make a grappling. Okay. So a straight check from Tomlinson. Oh, this ought to be good. Oh, hey, that's. I'm proud of you, Thomason. He fails it. Okay, so I do all that. So he takes. 
Oof, okay. So you missed the save on that, so it takes 18 poison damage. Ouch. And that's it for his turn for Tomlinson, Lady Kaiser. Okay. We're about to lose the NPC we're escorting. Pretty much. I got nothing <laughs> to say to them. So I'm hey, going to closer. I love the movement speed from Blades on. Yep. Um, I'm just gonna... Well, this hits wherever I want it to, so I'm just gonna magic missiles the vines that are wrapping around him. Okay. I apparently don't have a magic missile set up in, in my attacks, so I'm just going to roll 3d4 and add 3. Okay. Twelve automatic damage. Obviously this thing can't use shield or anything. Uh, anything else for you? Um. Uh, no, I can't heal as a bonus action, so that's my thing. Alrighty, Reese is up. Uh, yep. Reese's course of action is should be fairly self-evident. Uh, big attack his friend. He's gonna go murder it. Okay, it is completely restrained. He's restrained within the vines and everything. It's going to be very difficult to try to swing at him, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going like in just a little past him, cutting up the vines themselves. Okay. So, with my hand axes, because it's just perfect. 17. 17's it. All right. And that is five slashing, uh, seven slashing, and two fire. Two fire. Okay. You notice the fire doesn't do much to it, though. Interesting. Like just less than I expect on a plant, or? Yeah. Let's not expect on anything. Yeah, when he fire catches it, you notice it doesn't really catch on fire. It just kind of blemishes it a little bit. That's all it does. Mm. And offhand attack. That misses. Uh, nine is a miss, yes. Yeah. You know, unless it was a zombie. I'm mm, expecting no. that. Uh, all right, so the boar is up. 14 deck save. Yep, it G misses on a 12. He is restrained. He is restrained again. He's going to strength save for a 21, so he breaks it. <laughs> it's not a strength save. Oh, no, a strength check. I mean, but still, he, he made it. <laughs> yeah. He's a plus and five. It's difficult to rain. So. Right. Not so not. We had hex for strength. So, uh, 10, 5, 20. He's running off that way. The pork chops! No! 
Uh, Nick is up. Uh, yeah, how's Thomaston looking? <laughs> well, you see his health on screen, right? Uh, no. Also, no. Oh, you don't see his health? You don't see his health. No, no, I, you can only see the health of things you control. How's that? Uh, yeah, that that gives us an idea. Oh, that's right, I am blessed. Would bless have made a difference on that nine? Mm, what's the bless plus? Uh, one day four. Day four. Mm, yes, maybe. Roll one day four. Nope, had to roll four. Okay. <laughs> uh, Joy, bless, bruh. <laughs> yeah. But it is Nick's it. turn. Yeah, Nick saw that uh, he's in melee range. Uh, Yeah, you guys are quickly realizing what the real threat is here. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go ahead and... Yeah, let's just, let's just make these vines glow. Okay, so that'll actually hit that'll hit Tomlinson as well. I mean, go ahead, where you can just set it one back. Well, the ra well the vines are wrapping around him, so either way, that's going to hit him. Okay. So that's a save, right? Dexterity save. Is this something? Uh, that yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think Nick necessarily cared about Tomlinson as much as I do. All right, so. Save. Uh, so, huh. Tomlinson fails. The vines got a 20. So the vines succeeded. Actually, Tomlinson's automatic zero, actually, I believe. Yeah, never mind. So Tomlinson's fairy fire. The vines are not. <laughs> That's just not useful at all. In concentration. <laughs> In concentration? I mean, if the only target that we actually want fairy fired didn't get fairy fired. Okay, then. Fairy fire is off. Uh, the vines are up. Uh, I was also going to... Oh, you as well a bonus action? Lady. Sorry. Uh, yeah, give Lady Kai inspiration. Me? You? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, that's all. Alrighty. Uh, it is the Vine's turn. Vine's going to lash out at you there, Reese, because you're close to it. Cool. Uh, does a 23 hit? A 23 does hit. Uh, silvery vibes. I want to be hit. That's my whole build. I realize that, but I want to give Tomlinson advantage. Mm. It's still gonna silver barbs. The silver barbs is on you, there, uh, Kai. You want to do it anyways? Yes. I mean, it still might hit. I just want to go with Tomlinson advantage. Okay. okay. Well, the reroll does miss, and you said you're giving Tomlinson the advantage. Yeah. All right. So Tomlinson now has advantage on his next roll. Anything else? That was, really that was me. That was my turn. Never mind. Yeah, nothing else for yeah. me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Marco! Just one attack? It can only my turn? One. Yeah, it can only attack once, and it can only restrain one creature at a time. So. Okay, so... Very, going... It doesn't. It doesn't hit. It doesn't. It can't hit very often, but it hits hard when it does. 
And Marco, do you recall you are you have a bardic inspiration? Right. That might turn so that into a hit. Okay. What is that? Yeah, a D8? Or are, uh D six. D six. Which is fine. Just might as well use it. I don't know. Uh so fifteen. DM. Uh, fifteen is a hit. All right, so it's going to be – oh, I already did. I'm sorry. Three three points of cold – oh, no. That was – what the hell? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant this. Uh, one whole point of cold damage. One point that of was, cold damage? Yes. That cold. was not the right – that was that was mine's liver. Uh, oh. Same. Still the same. Oh, the wrong yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Wrong spell. Wrong spell. Sorry. So, which one are you casting? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. Right, so that's four points four. of cold damage. All right, and you notice the frost didn't do too much to it. Oh, I thought maybe the frost would be... Uh... All right, so anyway, on my bonus action, I'm going to do telekinetic. Telekinetic, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And I am going to move... Marco, uh, 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 what's his name? Tomlinson. Tomlinson. Uh, I want to move him out. I want to pull him out of the grass. Okay, so that is a um, Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Uh... Creature can As move, fail to save. Yeah. Okay, but he's grappled. So I'm going to say it's you're contesting the vines, technically. So, like a spell attack against the DC? Well, I would say it would be a strength check on the vines against their Bensa. Marco's DC, which would be a 14, I believe, right? Yes. Okay. And that is a 22. Um, did he have advantage on that? The vines? No. no. Okay. All right. Well, I tried. It, yeah, no. It was, it was worth a try, yeah. I mean, it was there was a chance. All right, it is Tomlinson's turn. Oof. And Tomlinson goes down, unconscious. He still has advantage on his next roll, but it might be a death save. Ah. I don't know about that. So, death saves are at the start of the turn, so therefore that is his turn. So his whole turn is he dies. But he dies up. Well, dies. Well, not dies, he's unconscious. Well, um... Again, I don't have bonus action or range healing, so I'm just gonna attack, I guess. And this, I guess. Uh, roll a roll a one d four. Okay, you managed not to hit Tomlinson in the process. Woo! Bonus action, also attack. Offhand attack. All right. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. <coughs> Well, you're whipping a you're whipping a vine, so it's a battle of whips here. 
<laughs> a lot of uh, reds and greens there for me. Woo. <laughs> Christmas was last month. Come on. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. That's oh, boy. Oh, boy. Reese is up. Reese is uh, still blinded by rage, so chop chop. Yeah. Uh, no pork chops, just 16. X chops. 16 and 16. Woo. 16's a hit. 16's a hit. All right. So that is 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 19 total. Right. Minus one, I think, for the oh, resistance to fire. So it's... Okay. And a anything else? Yeah. Uh, that is... That is all I've got for Reese. Okay, Hog's turn. He's running west. He's out of there. No, oh, Hog. Oh. Next up. So... By the way, uh, rhinoceros, warthogs, that kind of thing, they are the nature's version of the fire marshal where they stamp out small fires to prevent forest fires. It's just in their nature what to do. All right, Nick. He might be a little callous, but he's not cold-hearted. Um, he's going to come over and give a... Lovely cure wounds to our friend here. I'm surprised he took both cure wounds and healing word. Um, uh, yeah, he does have both. Some of them are. I'm not exactly sure why he has some of them. Marked as prepared and others not. Oh, they might. Okay. Mariah might list all of them and then mark the ones that she's currently using for the day without having to re add and subtract it from the sheet. Well, but bards, are, bards aren't prepared casters. Oh, you're right. I don't know then. Yeah, I don't know. But I do know that Nick has cure wounds. So. We've seen Nick use heroes. And might as well give this final, or it's actually not the final Bardic Inspiration we have more. Uh, might as well give one to Tommy Boy here. If he survives. Yeah. <clears throat> He's inspired. He has advantage on his next roll. Hopeful. I'm not sure how the second level spells, because I would also have four ticks watch. Right. Hey, there uh, for oh. Nick. Uh, nope. Fine, since you're the one that hit it, it's going to attack you, Reese. Yes. And that's a miss. So it's still constricted on to Tomlston. Marco's up. Yeah, Marco, seeing that, I mean... Fire doesn't do anything. Cold doesn't do anything. Um, he's going to go back to a magic missile. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know what the hell that was. You rolled once. You got to roll two more was... times. Yep. All right. So that's three. Ooh, there's a nice one. Three, seven. Nine, hold nine points of damage. Yeah, but it's automatic damage unless you have shield, so it's not horrible. Yeah. 
All right. Best I could do. Okay. Tolston's turn. Oh, oh my bonus, hold, oh, okay. hold on. Hold on. All right. Bonus action. I'm gonna try to pull him out again. Are you gonna shove again? Yeah, I'm gonna to try to shove him out. Oh, what's the DC? Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, you meet, you beat. Yep. Is that in your turn? That's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, this is what I just rolled for damage. Jesus Four. Christ, he's getting hit by fireballs every turn. How many de how many rolls do you get with this thing? Start of every turn, he gets hit with sixty six poison damage. You know we're only level three, right? Yeah, and you know, uh, and, okay. you know what makes this worse, Paul, is this was designed for level twos. Yeah, well, no, this is this is this is no, this is designed by me. This is only a oh, this is designed. No, this okay, is designed by me. You're first seeing a challenge three rating thing. So we're just not doing enough damage, I guess. Yeah. Well, doesn't matter. He was up. Now he's just down, right? Uh, 29. Yeah, oh, so he's he back to dead? zero again. Yep. Is he dead dead? No, he's at zero again. I don't know. No, but you rolled. Points. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, he has about as many total hit points as Reese does. Yeah. Not more. Unfortunately, Keep it's the start it. of his turn, so he can't. That's the thing, because the rules. It says this that. Uh, it says it takes sixty-six poison damage at the start of each of the turns, so he can't even take his action to break free. He takes the damage before he can make an action. That is. Mean. Yeah, I know. I've re I've read that. I've had to read it three times sitting here. That's why sometimes you got to get my attention because I'm rewriting. I was like, "Is this what it really says?" And yeah, he takes the damage before he can even make an action. Lady Kai's up. Um. Well, we could either hope <laughs> to heal him enough to survive that. Or kill this thing. Yeah, fortunately, your healer is probably the only one that could do actual damage to it. <laughs> besides, besides Reese. So it needs uh, radiant damage, I think. Nothing I could do. Uh, you still have a vortex warp in there? No, I, I, I have no second level spells left. Unfortunate. Yeah, I would have taken, I would have done that. Yeah, but you didn't know what the real threat was of the fight because it showed up afterwards. Yeah, it showed up afterwards, so. That's what happens. That's what happens, that's, that's what happens when you throw a left hook. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we just. <coughs> How are these vines looking anyway? They're not looking great. Keep hacking away. Yeah, I. That's all I can do, I guess. Uh, fourteen is a hit. Okay, that's something. That's that's me. It's better Ooh, than nothing. We've been throwing a lot. Of, I got I got an idea for next round. We'll see what happens. I actually lowered its HP and made it a little easier for you guys. Believe it or not. Uh, beforehand, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, reduced threat is sometimes necessary because. Yeah. We're we're not a damage heavy team. 
No, all your yeah. damage is on Reese pretty much until you get to a higher all, level. Yep. All the damage is set in the person who's who's not a damage dealer. I'm a tank. Well, I mean, Tomlston has fireball, so he can like be damaged, but he he's the one that got caught. But it's yeah. resistant to fire as well, so still takes half damage on a lot of d sixes. Yeah. And dexterity is not its greatest suit either. <laughs> uh, I'm just assuming that Nick, <coughs> since she's not here, can feed him healing potions and stuff. Oh. Uh, that was it for you, bonus action action. So Reese is up. Yeah. Uh, third verse, same as the first. But this time I remembered plus. Yeah, that's definitely going to hit. And that's definitely going to hit. You like rolling that 4 9. You know, Ooh. it's. It's looking rough, guys. Yeah. It's looking really rough. So, 13 plus 3, so. 16 minus 1 for the resistance. Yeah, it's looking rough. Yeah, that's, right, that's, all good. that's all. And Nick's up because the hog's gone. It is the vine's turn after your Nick's turn, though. Uh, it is just a shame that Nick. Nick's only. Big damaging spell is Thunder Wave. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that would not be good. Uh, that would probably not would rebound, be... no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to test that. Um, you, could hold, you could hold your action till I'm done. Uh, I have to hold it for a specific thing, though. What are you planning? Don't forget, it goes before Marco. It's going next. Oh. Oh, um, yeah. Never uh, mind. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get him up just so he can go back yeah. down. So, can we assume that Nick has healing word? Um, That's what he's always used. Yeah, you mean you no, he's... He's only ever used Cure Wounds. Oh, no, he used Healing Word one time at the first session. Mm -hmm. uh, so, bonus action, Healing Word on Tomlinson. Just okay. so that he doesn't die. Well, he's going to die either way. Well, no, he's going to go down. Oh, what's what's Very going big on? Difference. What the hell? What's up? Uh, <laughs> That's pretty much what he's doing now for the last two turns. Uh, and then short sword. With this lovely magic short sword. Okay, well, sip, sip needs a hit. Or six Oof. damage. Close. Very yeah. close. Could have killed it. The bless on Nick was not necessary. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, Lady Kai, you also have uh, an inspiration. Don't forget. Not that it's going to help right now. That's a miss. Marco's up. Oh, hit me. I so can't. I rolled looking... a 12. I keep rolling. On his attacks, I roll sixes. <laughs> Um, you said it's looking real rough, though, right? Oh, it's looking really rough. Dude. Like, like leaves are falling off it, vines are falling off it. It's kind of shambles right now. Should I try to get him out of there, or should I just try to do some damage? <clears throat> just, just kill it. Just, just, just kill it. Just, just. Mag missile. Magic missile. Yep. You didn't have to roll; it'll do it. He only had three hit points left. Oh. Base is like six, so. Uh, 
My my idea oh, was, I was I yeah. should have did it last turn was to cast grease on Tomlinson and then try to pull him out. <laughs> That's interesting. I would have definitely rolled disadvantage with that. That'd be interesting. I, I realized yeah. that afterwards. I was like, oh shit, I got grease. I don't think I was looking at him like being greased very much, but <laughs> uh, it would have got him out of there. I would have loved that. That is very creative. Um, all right. So, what the fuck? All right, let's not light another fire. <laughs> I'm tired. Thomas <Tomlinson> drops <laughs> to the ground. Goes, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> let's get away from the woods. Well, there's not going to be much better outside of the woods. It's going to be. Going back in my bedroll. Oh, stupid. Yeah, that board took like a lot of my uh, spell slots. Oh, yeah. Web is also a second level. That's why you didn't have another. Yeah, I'm not concentrating yeah. on that anymore, so. Yes, you guys had a combat for a change. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was scary. <laughs> it almost killed. Almost got us. Almost got us. Well, it almost got us. <laughs> well, <laughs> so much for this adventure. <laughs> Thomaston. We'd be heading back home. <laughs> Thomaston's going like, I know I was said I was going to take the third shift, but I think I think I need the rest now. <laughs> yeah. Rest, my sweet prince. Yeah, so either Reese has to take a sh shift by themselves. You probably are going to have to take an extra shift, a fourth shift, to compensate for the combat that you just did to get all your uh, rest and resources back. Absolutely. Uh, you can... I mean, you could take it on your own with my familiar. Yeah, I I, I can take it on my own. Um, I, I already took two. I can't anymore. Yeah, you, y'all sleep. Uh, Reese is actually still in good shape. Tom's going to set all his damn spell slots just about, so he's just going to recast this now. Jeez, something else happens. <laughs> Even after all the white water rafting and shit, like, Lady Guy was in perfect shape because press the vegetation and other shit. She's looking spent now. <laughs> Her hair is literally, like, normally just the tips are transparent. Now it's, like, a lot of it. And Reese will actually have armor of Agassiz for the first hour of his watch, too. Whoa. Don't make the rhino come back to try to stomp you out. All right. Uh, who's taking the fourth ship? We're gonna believe, fourth ship, I believe, is going to be Lady Kai. And it could actually be uh, Marco again, technically. Well, I get all my okay. stuff back. That's all I care about. No, I'm good. All right. I'll do that. If there's anything else you guys want to do during that little part there. Uh, I, will the next the day. Watch, I will leave the final watch to the others. Um, I need my beauty rest. All right. I, I just want to know how evil is this land? Uh, um, there is... Let's see. <clears throat> you get a very, very chilling feeling. This land is deeply rooted in corruption and just vile, vile, mutated nature. Uh, it is very, um, I guess you say monstrous in a way. It is just, you just feel a full sensation of unsettling feelings within your soul. Hmm. Huh. Uh-oh, stinky. So, 
Yeah, that, that tracks. Yeah, I could have saved uh, Tomlinson a long time ago. Oh? Well, I forgot I had twin spell. So I could have twinned the spell and moved the boar into the um, web and pulled him out at the same time. You didn't have enough sorcery points, though. Yeah, I do. I got three. I got uh, plenty. You used well, to... you couldn't. You no, couldn't no, before. Have... When, I, when I, I used quicken spell. I shouldn't have used quicken yeah. spell. I should have used twin. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, if you save the points, yeah. Yeah, if you... Okay, I'm did... learning. Learning little by little. Yeah. yeah. But it is the next day. Uh, you finally get a rest. A little bit longer than you were anticipating. Uh, but you do have a very good long trek to the north you still have to uh, make here. Uh-huh. I'm putting the... Through... Uh, raft into the ring. So, um, before, because I was on the last watch, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Before the end of our watch, I casted um, Mage Armor, so I get my full spell slot compliments. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, All right. Um, how many do I have to spend for that? Uh, one. Maybe I can wait a couple of minutes to do that. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Tomlinson is casting a first and a third. And he's also burning a sorcery point every morning. Jesus. Yeah, he's casting um, mage armor on himself for the first eight hours. Probably has to do it twice. And he's also burning uh, non-detection on himself, too. Plus a sorcery point to double the duration to uh, 16 hours. I mean... They, they could just detect us. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a higher DC. It's a higher DC for you versus him because they're a lot more familiar with him than you. Oh. Yeah. Not to mention, they have parts of him that they can use. Ew. Remember, yeah. He was a test subject. They were. I mean, in conversation with him, you would have. He would have told you that they've taken uh, blood samples and other things from him in order to do tests on him. Like aliens. Mm. So he'd be making the save with a minus five, and they would have like a plus four to the DC. If he wasn't using a spell, yeah. If only we had a centaur companion. <laughs> we could use the card again. Yeah, but he is he's casting this like every morning. So if only we had a spear of neblin that could cast that at will. Mm. Or a paladin with fine speed or something. Mm. Or a druid. Or a druid. Yeah, next character after uh, after Ridge is probably going to be a druid, I think. For me. It, it, if I die, that is my backup. All right, so you're able to get navigate through the Sevalier Woods by missing most of it by taking the river. However, you did get that little uh, spat there in the middle of the night when Tomlinson did get wrapped up in the vines while you're trying to dodge a wild boar who was just doing its anti-fire duties. Um, you do manage to get to the outskirts of the forest into the very snowy plains of the Crystal Sands Tundra. Uh, you still have problems, given the snow and everything, how there's not much of a traveled uh, road here. Uh, you are looking at a possible two days uh, travel here. So you're looking at at least staying out in the cold at least one night here. 
How much gold dust does Ooh. Thomas have? Uh, or diamond dust? Diamond dust? I don't think I ever... No, I never did give him components. <laughs> so, I'll be honest on that one. <laughs> I'm just imagining he has just uh, an entire stack filled with ground up diamond dust. He took a he took a bag when he when he left uh, the <coughs> farm. Well, I mean, next to the king himself, I mean the the uh, Cerberus Assembly is probably the second most richest uh, organization in this whole entire territory. Oh yeah, they could make money. Didn't just... Yeah, so he probably stole a bunch of diamond. I mean, also Cerberus Assembly also has the second highest pool of um residual probably also in the whole entire world so this yeah. organization is very rich in resources so to speak yeah okay crystal stands tundra i make a snowboard <laughs> uh, it only works going downhill though yeah every time we go up a tiny hill i just make a snowboard and ride it down what the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, if you wanted me to pull the uh, raft out and use it as a sled, I could. Yeah, but who's pulling the sled? You don't have any horses. You'd have to pull the sled yourself. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could put your supplies on there and pull like a toboggan like you cut down a tree for Christmas. Well, at that point, you might as well just put all the supplies in the ring. Exactly. We also have a bag of holding. Like we're good. Yeah. Yeah. But you can. So you're gonna. So are you? Did you leave the raft at the river, or did you take it with you in the ring? Oh, I took it with me in the ring. Okay. Yeah. Nice. To, nice tool to have. Uh, so you're going to the Crystal Sands Tundra. It's a very snowy plain. Uh, none of you, I believe, have been this way. So. It would just be a survival trek and trying to navigate your way there. Uh, it would take you two days to get there normally. However, whoever wants to lead this adventure, um, it would be two uh, separate survival checks to get to a, your destination at night. Whoever wants to take the lead, I can cast guidance on you because I surely am not the best candidate for taking the lead. Um, I mean, I have a plus two. And Nick has a plus two. Nick has jack of all trades, though. Nick has a plus two with jack of all trades. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice guidance. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah. wisdom isn't the highest in this group. Th this is why my backup is a druid. That's also what so, I usually term the line, probably the cleric, every time we do these kind of checks. Survival. Oof. Tolv isn't in this party. Yeah, Tolv's yeah. not here. Yeah, so that's eight. Okay, so... Yeah, Reese is kind of familiar with snow, but he's more so familiar with mountain snow. Well, this is more navigation than just the snow itself. Well, yeah, yeah. But, like, the navigation challenges of snow are different on a mountain. Just... Okay, so as you're traveling, you do take a more easterly direction than you were anticipating. Uh, easterly is better than westerly. What about there? Uh, whoever wants to make the next roll, if you wanted to have the same person roll. Just roll it. Yeah, it's not getting any better than. Oh boy, get worse. I'm trying to see hey, if no, I can do advantage. Hold on. It's, it's the same. Same roll. Another eight. Okay, you do manage to navigate your way north, and that's where you you get about there for the night. Yeah, no, the best I can do is, like, give us some eagle eye view of things. 
Oh boy. Snow. And in that direction is also snow. Well, that way is mountain. I think we want to head all the way north, hugging the mountains. Uh, yeah. Anything else you guys want to do for, for the end of the day? Uh, I'm going to hop into my ring and hop out with a shovel. Yeah. <laughs> Long time ago, I put, a sho- my, I put my shovel in the ring. Uh, <laughs> shovel's right. going to be really useful. It'll be real useful putting uh, together a camp with a shovel in snow. Yeah, how deep <clears throat> the snow? We, we can so make how, a... how deep the snow? I mean, I'm talking. We're talking like a foot, foot and a half of snow. I mean, you're up past your knees. This is where things get funky. Would you consider snow water? In your case, yes. Okay, I help make an igloo. <laughs> We're making a igloo. I pack it in cubes, and then someone can place it. Uh, yep, I'm packing. Cu- I'm packing bricks. Oh my god! You and Pycrete, man. <laughs> Uh, I am the type to create that bullshit, yes. Yes, you are. I, uh, that's why I'll give it to you. Um, but that night, anything you guys want to do at the night besides getting your little igloo shelter going? Just get a nice wind break and just try to hunker down for the night. The cold reminds me of home. This sucks. <laughs> Hey, uh, Marco. Yeah. Come on down. Your next contestant, the price is uh, your fate. Uh-oh. I will use this opportunity to be right back. Right. You're in the dark room, I take it now? I am in the dark room. <clears throat> so, after your battle, you felt more connected because you used several, that twisting vortex thing? Right. And since doing that, you feel more connected to maybe what you're supposed to be, maybe where your your true destiny might entail. And as you're sleeping at night, that voice creeps back into your head again, saying, I see, lad, that you've uh, chosen your course that you want to do, eh? I did. Um, it felt good. It felt power. The power is yours if you want to do it. <clears throat> what will it cost? Nothing but a partnership with me. Good partnership, I hope. Indeed, lad, indeed. I've been searching for you for many, many millennia, and I was told that you would probably be the one to be the best suited for our cause. And that cause is definitely just, if you do, if you don't mind. As long as it's just and not evil. I suppose you're wondering who is talking to you, eh? I am. Well, I suppose. And your dream kind of drifts through not water, not the ocean, not a river, or not a stream or anything, but a wide, expansive desert. Sand dust blows. Your blind eyesight is blind as you try to pierce through it, through your mind, through your hand as you put it up against the wa- wa- waves and waves of wind that's pounding you. And finally, a face finally appears within the sand. And it's this face right here. Uh, I see you. And I see you as well, as well, lad. We'll have many, so my... many conversations in the future. But for now, just know that you're in good hands. I, I would think so. That's a mighty fine beard you have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I've had many years to craft it. In, <laughs> in beard oil. Just let you know, okay? Of course. 
Aye. It's between us. <laughs> and after that, you'd wake up the next morning all refreshed. <sighs> Fresh as a daisy. Was that what you were expecting? <laughs> yes, something like that. Um, but what's interesting is when you look at a desert, I mean, it's like an ocean. Mm -hmm. So, interesting. All right, next morning comes. It's very, very cold. However, your very warm Arctic gear is protecting you from the elements. Um, let us see here. Let's see, let's do this. A 17, eh? All right, so you wake up the next morning. It's a little, it's very, very cold, especially to you peeps that have not very used to the cold at all. Um, and also the wind's a little bit light. Uh, wind has changed to a, a northerly wind. So it's a bit of a headwind now as you get up the next morning and try to make your journey, continuing to the Pale Bank Village. Uh, do we have everybody back or? Uh, Take those I'm here. <laughs> We're missing the lady still. Did M Mariah ever join back? Doesn't look like it, no. Yeah. Well, sure. Sean, you're doing a good job. Um, her, she said her mother had a delivery yeah. for something she sold on the marketplace, and she needed to assist her. I don't blame her for that. They're putting they're putting together a tank. No. <laughs> uh, Sean, if you want to continue your navigation, or you want somebody else to roll, because uh, you're kind of been veering off a very long path to get there. If you continue to roll this way, it might take an extra day to get there. I could do worse, but I'm sorry, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying I could do worse, but. You want to take a stab at it, Paul? I'll give you it a shot. Take a stab at it, Marco. I mean, I'm Come sure. On. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, Lady Kai would give you guidance on this. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me just roll oh. it. And let's see what happens. Uh, this next morning, uh, Marco met. You don't know because he did. He, it's up to him to tell you. But he I'm met, he good met today. his patron. I was listening. Okay. Feeling good. Um, so, feel so feeling good. lucky. And, uh, let me roll a D4. 14. Okay, 14. You're, you're heading in the right direction, at least. Better than recent race. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was just rolling really bad. It's going to take another Lady Kai. Good, It's going to take another good, good roll to make it home, though. Lady Kai, you want to do it, or do you want me to just continue? It's up to you guys. Go ahead, roll it. That's the way we all have a little part in this. There you go. 19. 19. That'll definitely get you to the outskirts of the town. I think I see the town. Oh, my God. I want to get inside. <laughs> I've never rolled so well. <laughs> All right, you are able to get to the outskirts of the Pale Bank Village. I'm sucking up everyone's luck, and I'm I'm fine with it. You mean we could have taken a boat here? Wouldn't that have been easier? Um, I, where would you have Where would you have sailed out from? I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah, with their little dinghy of a boat, that would not made the ocean very that would made the ocean trip very treacherous, <laughs> especially with icebergs. <laughs> I would have capsized as soon as we set off. All 
right. Um, snow gently falls from the sky and the wind bites your cheeks as you stand in the graveyard, as you stand well, on the outskirts to, with a graveyard to the left of you, which has a, has a several uh, large gathering of about a good hundred or so dwarves and elves and humans. Um, standing on the outskirts of the city here as you approach. Um, the sun is very low in the sky and is almost sinking uh, behind you to the west as you're approaching. That must mean that there's probably no waiting in the tavern. Uh, if that's your takeaway, sure. <laughs> So are they like just chilling there or what are they doing? Are they, um, what's the mood like somber or are they, they are probably very, they buried. They're very somber. Um, it seems to be a, a funeral service going on and the entire town looks like they're attending. Wow. Must have been somebody that everybody liked or well, hated or a large number of people. Something like that. I mean, I don't think it'd be respectful to talk to them right now, would it? Nope. Let's just head in town and maybe we could get to the inn, get a room, some food, and uh, make contact with uh, who we need to make contact with. What if they're the one that died? You know... Uh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Cross that bridge when we get to it. So you're What's head, that? So you're going to head in town for, to the end? Is that what you're hearing? What I'm hearing? Yeah. The, yeah. We'll find out about what's going on. I'm sure at the inn. Ooh, maybe we could take a look at some uh, shops and stuff. There might be rare things since this is so out of the way. Could be. Could be, or there could be very little, because it's so out of the way. Yeah. I wonder what their food's like here. Probably good and hearty, eh? Mm, yeah, I imagine very simple, hearty. Uh, fish. A lot of fish. I don't know, <laughs> maybe. I bet they have boar meat. Uh, they, might, but they might be running... Well, on the meats in the middle of winter. You never know. I wonder if they have tacos. Have the I don't know. I don't know if we established what season it is. I don't think this area has seasons. <laughs> yeah, it's cold, colder, or colder, bud. Well, you think it's a lot of fish? I mean, this could be just the cold season. It it might get colder than this. I'm sure. Well, let's get to the inn and find out. I wonder yeah. if they put fish in tacos. That would be interesting. Oh, dear God. Uh -huh. What are tacos? Oh, my God. Well, have you ever been to Nicodranas? Yes. Then you never went to the famous taco stand? I the taco know, cart? <laughs> it's called a taco cart? I don't know. Maybe. maybe you lost it. Well, you might not have seen it because he doesn't, like, stay in one place. He takes the cart and he moves it around the city. So you don't know where the cart's going to be. But when it shows up, there's always a line. So butter tacos? All right, so think of flatbread, but I mean like really flat. And then he takes meat and he puts meat in the bread that's flavored with great spices. And then he puts some onions and some tomatoes and some spice, some sauce, some spice oh, sauce. A burrito? What's that? You mean a burrito? Not a burrito. It's a taco. It's it's crescent moon shape. Oh, a tortilla shell. Yes. It's a twin tortilla. Oh, okay. So where are you heading, guys? 
Those weren't called tacos in my day. <laughs> what were they called? Uh, me? This is, this is your day. Uh, uh, I mean... I mean, come on. Anything wrapped in bread is pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't call that bread, but yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's... It's very, it's technically a bread. I'll take that back. Anything fried is pretty good. So. So. <laughs> who wants to end. bet that that big building over there is the end? Either the inn or the town master's hall. Either way, it's a good place to go to. What the hell is that? What the hell is what? No, nothing. Let's what now? Let's uh, let's head into the inn. If you ever see like a big old anything in the sky, call it out, guys. Just saying. We we live in a world where dragons exist. <laughs> All right, true, so you guys are true. heading to the inn, right? <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's yep. the uh, that seems to be. I'm okay. sure there's only one in this whole town, right? Yep. So you head up to the uh, tavern in lodging lodge, basically. Uh, outside the uh, lodge, you see a name title called the Jolly Dwarf. Probably nice and warm in there too. Mm, even if it's. Drafty. It's got to be better than this. Absolutely. Uh, upon entering uh, the tavern, uh, you do see nobody in there except for the uh, patron owner kind of just uh, washing down his counter and like that. That's the only thing you see in the tavern. Everybody looks like seems to be probably at the uh, cemetery. I guess we'll just walk in and say... What was it like evening? This morning, afternoon. It, uh, lady, this is this is into the evening. Yeah, it's about supper time. Oh. Evening, evening, uh, sir. Oh, hi there. Oh, I don't recognize you folks here. No, no, we're traveling. Um, we heard you had a lovely village here, and we wanted to visit. Um, would there be rooms available? Oh, yes, there's always rooms available. This is not a very popular uh, uh, place to stop at, I will say. Uh, well, we have tons and tons of rooms in the upper levels. So what would you like? Uh, I would like a room. Uh, just make sure you guys can see the whole map that goes off to the right, too. Yep. Okay, there's nothing really in here. Like, there's literally nobody in the inn except for the um, innkeeper, really. You even got the... Outhouses, nice. Oh, yes, yes. When you're the only in here for people passing through from, uh, from, uh, you know, names escape me sometimes, even though I read the name three times and I always forget it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it sorry. I yeah, myself am from uh, Nicodranus, so a little bit weather different here. It's a little cooler. Yeah, Utherdern, that's what I say. Is a, oh, well, not many people pass through here, no, pass through here and this and that, but uh, being a village of Utherdern, a little fishing village, uh, we do all right. Good. Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah, for sure. I would like a room myself. Uh, I don't know what everybody else wants to do. Oh, uh, yes. Well, it's, uh, it would be uh, two gold a night. That does cover room and board. Would definitely like some. Some food, yep. but uh, how about some drinks and maybe some information? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, how many rooms total? Just to get out of the way. Uh, if anyone gonna, would I'm like gonna... to share a nicer room, I want it for the bathroom. I don't really use beds. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, yeah, um, I mean, Nick, 
Nick likes the nicer things. We could, uh, yeah, I definitely want a nicer room because you could put two people in the nicer room, right? Well, we can actually fit uh, three people in uh, one room. Uh, there is also a uh, very large suite. Uh, the bigger rooms will go for three gold. The suites go for five gold. What's the suites look like? Oh, uh, well, it, you know, it is a it is a uh, double bed with a desk and your own uh, uh, bath area and your own port uh, porta potty as well or toilet. Why, why don't we just do two um, uh, two <laughs> suites? Chamber pot. Well, we have one suite. Uh, the second suite's mine, of course, because uh, I do stay there. But we do only have one suite available. Yeah, sorry, guys. This this room's his. <laughs> oh, man. Which room? Upper left-hand corner is oh. his. <laughs> oh, that's the one I was looking at. Well, it's obviously got stuff and things and tables and stuff in it, so that's obviously all right, so then the other, So this is the suite, right? The one next to it? Yeah, so that's the master yep. suite, as yes, you could say. And then there's two larger kind of family suites in the bottom section. Uh, I want the bathtub, so we're taking the suite. Yeah. Well, the suite, I think they are shared there. There's no entrance from the suite into the bathtub. You have to go into the other room, right? Yeah, the bathtub's in no. the room with the suite, so. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, my God, yeah. So if you nice. jump in the bath, the person's going to be in the room with you unless you ask them to leave the room. I mean, I don't really care. All right, then. Um, also, as a side note, um, this top room is also taken. Sorry. This top right room. So there's... Okay, so let's that take that? the suite. And probably, what, this one with the double bed or whatever? The bigger one in yeah. the corner? Uh, either that one or the one right next to it. That one also has a big bed and a small a small one. Yeah. Uh, so that would yeah. either, either way, that would cost uh, three gold for one, five for the other. So it would be eight gold total. I'll, I'll spring for the room. All right, go ahead and mark eight gold off, and you have uh, both those rooms. I'll give you three of those. What's that? I'll give you three of those because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take ownership of that bathtub for a while. Uh, there's that, also that's... there is two community baths like right here and here, mm -hmm. which you can also use at your disposal. Those are community rooms for all the other rooms. Uh, this one is just a private one just for that room if you want to double up and use it, you know. Yeah, because you don't use a uh, the bed, right? You just chill. Yep. That's fine. I'll take the bed. I'll leave you alone for an hour or whatever. Yeah, there's a comfy yeah, armchair that business. you could use uh, in this Lady Kai. has a big, nice comfy chair in the corner. Yep. You could do, do your business. I'm going to go have a few, have some something to eat. Sit by the fire and bullshit. I mean, I won't worry about it. I can just take a bath while you sleep. That's fine. Whatever. I'm also going to eat and drink and... Stuff. Be merry. So who are we supposed to meet here? Or... Ergon uh, win. It's the bartender, too. So what's going on with the... Uh, we've seen everybody at the at, at the... At the cemetery, um, so uh, it's somebody special that uh, passed away. Oh, yes, unfortunately, very somebody very very special to the village. Uh, fortunately, died uh, uh, earlier uh, later this morning, and they're having their services there. But I uh, fortunately couldn't go because somebody had to, you know, maintain the tavern and all. So I was kind of stuck here. And you know, I I don't want to be rude or anything, but who? Who passed on? Oh, that, that would be Ergon Wenth. Was that the guy we were supposed and, to meet? Yeah, Reese is just like over here doing something, and whatever he's holding in his hand at the moment snaps in half. God damn it. Oh, I called it. <laughs> oh, Ergon Wenth uh, sounds like a. Was he like the mayor or the. 
Um, no, he was just the, uh, I guess you could say, the uh, most well-known person of the town and uh, one of our leaders of our village, so to speak. He wasn't, you know, the mayor or anything, but he was one of the most well-known adventurers of the village and did many, many forays into Isilcross, but uh, what did he uh, caught up with him. But Oh, oh. Did, uh, did not die of natural causes, I'm hearing, Ben. Oh, certainly, certainly not. Something very vile happened to him, and he passed on after several, several weeks of, uh, of a slow, slow death. It was a horrible thing to witness, I must say. Poison, you think? Uh, we're not sure. You might want to might want to talk to the leader of the village. Uh, he would be more helpful to you. Uh, uh, his name is uh, uh, Elro. Damn it, where's his full name? <laughs> Elro is his first name. Uh, Eldro, Eldro Aldathar. Aldatar. Eldro Eld. Eldator. Eldator. I. There. There's your spelling. <laughs> yeah. Boy, did I have that wrong. Yeah. Uh huh. Elro <laughs> Eldator. 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 Yeah. <coughs> Some names up north. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I believe he was at the, he, along with everybody in the village, of course, is at the uh, services right now. Hmm. I knew a Jeffro. Elro. Okay. Um, maybe we'll talk to him later. I'm sure once the service is over, you're going to get busy in here. Oh, um, I'm sure, I'm sure. There'll be a very, very fun wake, you know, in his uh, remembrance later on this evening. Um, but if you do want to visit him, he does, of course, have his own uh, house here in the center of the village if you want to go visit later. Yeah, maybe we will. Uh, I think right now uh, we would like some uh, drinks if possible. Um, what do you guys want, wine or ale? The lightest wine you have. The lightest wine you have for the lady. Okay, um, we'll try to see what light wine we have. Of course, everything's really hardy up here with the snow and all. Can I keep warm? Uh, do you have a nice porter? Oh, of course we have porter. I would love a porter. Uh, we already, I think we it's established at this point, Nick's going to ask what the strongest thing uh, they yes. have is. Yes, Nick's uh, going to do the Nick thing. You don't really have much for a strong ale or alcohol up here. It's just really just regular stuff. Uh, I think they go for wine then. Yeah, all you have is wine or or ale. That's it. A very a very very hearty, like almost like a breakfast ale, almost or uh, or wine. Mm. That's basically what you're looking at. Hey, you drink yeah. a porter with me. <laughs> All right. I take it you guys are probably going to find some seating for yourselves. Yeah, let's find a corner. Oh, uh, no. Reese is sitting oh, over here by the plane. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It's <clears throat> the warmest space in the entire place. So talking amongst ourselves is, uh, okay, what do we do now? Mm. So, he was going to be our ride, right? Yeah. So, I suppose we have to find someone else? Maybe someone that worked with him? That's what I was thinking. Maybe he had an apprentice or something. Should we go ask the bartender? Well, or wait till the... Uh, Wait till we get to speak to Jeffro. Oh, we're uh, El maybe, Adam, brother. Yeah. maybe, but can we trust him? Mm. That's fair. I mean, I don't think we have a choice at this point, right? I'm going to go back and talk to the uh, bartender. Um, he's in the kitchen right now, making your guys' food at the moment. But yeah. All right. Uh, when, uh, when he comes by, um, so a couple questions I want to ask is like, did 
did he uh um uh, what's his name uh um egon whatever the fuck his name is uh, yeah did he did he have an adventuring party or was he did he usually go out by himself uh nobody ever goes out by themselves around here um uh, you know so but uh he did he did usually uh tag along with a good friend of his uh Goes by the name of Sorry, I'm looking. <laughs> Orgon, okay, that's his name. I spelt it wrong. Uh his friend uh Morgo. Um, but I think Morgo, uh, stayed over at Isocross now, is kind of guiding, uh, adventurers up there to where they want to go and such. I suppose we'll have to ask the... Is it a village chief, townmaster? Uh, Elro, uh, he is the uh, oh. leader of our village, yes. This village leader. Oh, I guess we'll have to ask him uh, who, who could now, be now, over there now. El, well, Eldro, uh, I mean, Orgon, uh, he was expecting us, right? Er Ergo. Um, yeah. Um, so Orgon was, Elro was not. Right, right. Er Orgon was. Well, that's what I'm saying is that maybe... I mean, it took him a long time to die. Well, that sounds like it took him a while to die. Maybe he passed on some information. So maybe we need to talk to Elro. Right, that's our only... Unless somebody else has another idea. Uh, as your uh, conversation as your finishes up, uh, people start trickling into the uh, tavern. Uh, very uh, sad-looking faces on their, uh, on their, uh, very, very sad-looking faces overall. I'll just say that. Start uh, meandering in. So we're just gonna kind of look over the crowd. Just simple folk, you know, elves, humans, you know, wandering in. Dwarves. Should we see if uh, Elro is among them? I suppose. I mean, we didn't really ask for a description or anything. Just gonna go over and says greeting friends. Oh I, hello there. Um we are new to this town and uh we were wondering if uh you could maybe point out Elro to us if he is among us right now. Oh no no no. Elro was uh not with us in the room. He he returned back to his uh back to his home, actually. Uh it's in the center of town. A uh, very, very you... tall, very tall, older, older elf with a long beard. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Elro's back in his house. Should we just go talk to him? Finish our drinks? Someone comparable to me in age. This is exciting. <laughs> I, you know... Given the stories you've told, I'm not sure that there are very many elves alive that are comparable to you in age. He's old enough to look old, so, you know, two or three hundred years is not that big a deal. That's still comparable in my eyes. I guess. Yeah, I guess things get a little more broad in what is comparable when you get into such large numbers. These guys don't look very somber. 
Well, you know, what the token gave us. <laughs> Busting yeah, chops. All right, do you guys want to walk over to the um, mayor's house? Yep. Hello. Let me just leave this bottle next to the bathtub real quick. I run up and leave it there. I didn't take a drink from it yet. It's for later. <laughs> All right, so you guys hand to Elrose? Yeah. And let the bartender know that the innkeeper that will be back. Oh, yep, yep, fair enough. You got your rooms, you got your keys, you're all set. We're, yeah, we're going to go visit um, Elro. Yep, so, yeah. his house can't be missed. It's uh, right near the uh, center. I um, just want to make sure I'm saying that correctly. Da, 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 da. Uh, Elro's is on the south side of the city. Okay, thank you. Right. And while we have a quick little moment, I want to give a sh quick shout out to Drinks Glue, Master Jed, uh, Conkly Kong, thank you for the uh, join in the chat. Also, Donkleys92 for the follow. Appreciate that, too, as well. Yep. Hope you're enjoying this. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go back to the map so you guys see where you guys are exactly are going. Uh, so you were in this uh, center, larger building, as you noted. It was definitely the uh, inn. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys are actually heading down to the southern part of the town, right down here to Elrose. Yeah. I'll take you over to uh, that map right now. Oops. Oops, if I click on it myself. All right, what stands for you is a very, very nice, very modestly sized um cabin wood frame uh building uh there is a nice kind of a cobblestone steps going off with a stream running near it very well nicely kept uh house that's for sure hello i can knock on the door oh, oh. yeah I don't know. Did you hear me knocking? <laughs> I heard a thud. I don't know. I thought I didn't know if that was your drink or was that your no, Stanley that was, cup or whatever. But that, that was, was no. I don't have a Stanley <laughs> cup. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So come at the door. You see. Uh, oh, that's the only thing I have for this on the screen. Yeah. See this figure approach the door. A very weathered, older elf, uh, very, very heavy, heavy coat, fur lined around the collar with a big hood, uh, long uh, fey like features of the ears and the nose. Uh, one eye, the right eye, is very clouded over. He's definitely, he's definitely seen some stuff in his uh, lifetime. He approaches the door, he goes, uh, hello, how can I help you? Master Elro? Indeed, you have met. Uh, how can I help you this evening? Sir, we were wondering if we might have a word with you. And it's regarding um, Ergon. Oh, were you uh, friends of Ergon? I'm sorry if you missed his services. We just wrapped it up. Uh, wouldn't say friends, but we'd, we'd heard of him. Well, any friend, any people knows Ergon will definitely be a friend of ours. Please, please, come, come. Come inside, please, where it's not nice and warm. Thank you. And he uh, shows you into his uh, abode and he says, please, take a seat. Uh, are you guys uh, anything to drink or anything? No, no, we're, we're fine. It just came from the tavern. Okay. He takes his uh, seat at the uh, head of the table. Wherever you want to put Nick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you say we're looking for uh, Ergon. Uh, like I said, I'm very sorry. His uh, We just wrapped up his uh, funeral services, like I said. And much uh, our condolences. It seems like he was very well respected in this town. This oh, village. Very well respected. He is one of our finest adventurers, thrill seekers in the village. He's taught many and many a youth on how to survive in these elements and in many and many a crossings to 
Dice will cross to investigate the uh, old ruins that are up there, and he brings back some trinkets once in a while, but, uh, well, this time when he came back, uh, he was hit with a very, very odd malady that was not be able, that we could not figure out. Did he happen to mention he was supposed to be meeting with some people? Uh, we, we were... We were... He doesn't really Where's... tell me of his businesses today, but he did, uh, last business I know of that he did was about two months ago when he came back from Isocrust. We were supposed to meet with him, and that's why we're inquiring that maybe he might have said something to you or who, who, would there be somebody in the village he would have talked to? It depends. I mean, he knows everybody in the village. It could be anything, but uh, well, the what, business what, matter. Yeah, you know, could you be more specific on what business matter that would be? Um, I'm just gonna look at Reese, and that, it's not mine to say. <clears throat> well, Thomas, well, Thomas, Thomas will pop uh, pipe up. He goes, oh, "Well, I was supposed to meet uh, Esther uh, Ergon to uh, seek passage back home to." Uh, to Isolera, which is my home nation. I uh, recently left uh, the Dindwali Empire and was trying to get back home. I've been away for very, very many years, and I was told through a, a chain of folks that I could uh, be able to seek passage from him, but I guess that's unfortunate. And uh, Elora goes, Well, it's a uh, passage to seek. I could arrange that, but however... Uh, we have other uh, pressing matters right now that could be tended to, if you could help. Yeah. What do you need help with? Well, for instance, I mean, your contact, Ergon Wenth, you know, he, uh, like I said, about two months ago, he what, just came back from Isocrost, and after a few days, he produced some weird conditions where... His uh, veins started turning uh, blue, and then his uh, skin soon afterwards. And our village priests from the Morden and Corleon, they tried every spell or every healing trick they could find, and none of it worked on him. And after several more weeks, he succumbed to that um, malady and slowed his body down, and he just turned to solid ice. Wow. Yeah. And what would you, what would you have us do? Well, the town is very up in fear, and if this uh, malady is spreading, you know, because it could be contagious, so the town is a little bit worried if it might happen to each of them. So, or if maybe this was just an isolated incident, could you like maybe look around town for me and see uh, what what could be done? I do know that um. Uh, one one lady, one, uh, young young lady, named uh, Tol Tolgi uh, Luton. Uh, she's a dwarven <laughs> trapper in the uh, that does trapping on the outskirts. Uh, she was also showing signs of the same illness, and we haven't seen her in a while. Where might we find her? Uh, she can be found on the far far western side of the city, probably where you uh, came in. Or southern part, sorry, because the map's turned to the right. <laughs> so it'd be the southern part of the city. This is actually here on the eastern side. My bad. Map's backwards. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so he's on the southern side of the city. She's on the southern side. <laughs> yeah, north is east on this map. <laughs> uh, can we get that name spelled? Uh, sure. It's a uh, Tolgi. Uh, let me see if I find a whole name. Uh, Tulgi Luton. She's a, a young female dwarf. There you go. <coughs> Bless you. Thanks. Yeah, it's that season. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to stay hydrated. Um, it is a little after 10. I don't know if you guys want to continue. I know, Sean, you said you had to be somewhere. Uh, that resolved itself out, uh, okay. luckily enough. 
Okay, uh, we, can, uh, we can keep going for a little bit longer if you want. Don't you have to work tomorrow? I'm fine. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it might be nice now that we've got a direction to go and Mariah's not here. Uh, we have a good stopping point. Um, could could we stop when we go back to the inn? Because it's like it's it's evening, right? I, I, Kai was gonna do something at the end. Yeah, I mean, okay. we can go back to the end and. Okay, you want to go back to the end first? Or you want to go to Tulgi's first? It, you're not really supposed to do a whole lot of stuff at night in this climate. <clears throat> I mean, you know, confines of the village, that's up to you. Tulgi's. I don't see where that's going to be a big deal. We just need to check on her, right? I mean, what could happen? Small village. What could happen? <laughs> what could possibly happen? So you're going to no, it's... Oh, well, he, oh, sorry, I'm oh, sorry. I forgot one more tidbit of information. Um, you could also, um, you know, search around uh, Urgot's uh, house as well. It's uh, actually it's located on the uh, also on the eastern eastern southeastern side of the city. Uh, you, if you want to poke around, and investigate his cabin, also that'd be very helpful. I currently have uh, one of my guards uh, guarding the property right now to make sure nobody uh, disturbs it. Do we? Let the guard know is there a secret password or do we get like badges or something? Just let her know that you're working for El just tell her know you're working for Elro and you're investigating the issue and she should be fine with it. Oh well, thank you very much. Alright, so knowing that that we have two things to do, I would say we probably should, probably should call it right here. Yeah. Yeah. This the, if go, you dive into this investigation, it will take it will take at least an hour to get through everything. Probably. I mean, I'm I'm okay with it, but I don't know how everybody else is. As always, I have all the time in the world. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to get to sleep earlier lately, so. Good, Sean. No uh, problem. Yeah, this doesn't help you in that respect. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not really, I'm just monitoring things for the first uh, seven hours of my day tomorrow. So I'm not really doing anything until noon, so. I'm honestly going to forget about it by next time. So I'm just going to say Kai is going to take that bath after Marco goes to sleep. She's going to like play with minor illusion and giggle to herself then she's gonna mess with him a little <laughs> with marco oh yeah oh like i'm like throw a mustache on his face nah like get tipsy wake him up mess with him and then fall asleep next to him Marco, how would you react to that? Well, it depends on what she's waking me up. I'm like, leave me alone. I'm tired. Oh, she'd be like on all fours right on top of you. Long, she's long two days. Long two days. I, I, I cast press digitation. And uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me read this spell. I never take this spell. I don't know why. I just never do. What's the digitation? You never take it? No. I, it's, well, you know, when he you always got, plays like, cleric, so he always does thaumaturgy or something else. <laughs> yeah, I always, well, and, and I'm always like very um, more damage focused than, than when I, than this character. That's true. Um, yeah, yeah, he plays a cleric that's not exactly a cleric. <laughs> I'm not that type of cleric. Exactly. <laughs> My uh, cleric has more levels in fighter than cleric. 
So you create a instantaneous, harmless, sensory effect, such as a shower of sparks or a puff of wind or faint musical notes or an odd odor. So, oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to make a very odd odor. I mean, I am a little drunk. That's fine. I'm just going to I'm just going to take it. Whatever. I'm tired. I get it. I'm good. At at some point I try to distract her, but it's not working. I just give up. I was using the wrong mic again. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I hear silence. Yep. She literally just messes with you for like 30 seconds, gets on top of you, and then rolls over and falls asleep. And I fall asleep as well. <laughs> All right. And in the morning, um, we will investigate. Okay. And on that note, all right, so I'll put us, uh, for now, I will put us uh, back on the landing pad, of course, and we'll pick it up in the tavern the next day. All right. Yeah, that's a good, I think we're at a good place to stop. All righty. Oh, crap. I, oh. Oh, what'd you do? I forgot to do a combat with you guys, my bad. Uh, well, I'll, after fit that last I'll, fight, fit I'll, I'll fit it in uh, next time. Kind of wiped out after that last fight. <laughs> mm, I had another more difficult. Actually, the next fight would have been way more difficult than that. So maybe that's a good thing I didn't do it. It would have been fine. I'm I'm paying back Paul for the one shotting my BBG in that one shot. <laughs> Man, you're not getting <laughs> over that, are you? No, I'm never gonna let that go. That was one of the worst moments in my DM history. I I want harder combats. Like I want Lady Guy to quite possibly die. Oh, you will definitely have those combats soon. I do have three separate combats uh, prepared for you guys. That are two of which are guaranteed. All right, everybody, that'll take care of us for tonight with uh, Friday Night Dice. The party did manage to get to the Pale Bank Village. Uh, but unfortunately for them, that the contact they were supposed to meet there, the uh, Dwarf Orgon, was uh, fortunately dead upon arrival to the uh, village. And now they have to work for the leader of the village, Elro, to figure out what to do next. And if they can get safe passage off the island, or off the uh, village, and back to Isocross. Once again, I am Saberwolf. Thank you for watching, where you can watch these live and interact with us in chat at 7 p.m. Eastern on Fridays at twitch.tv slash Gaming. that's two M's of gaming, or if you want the cut down versions on uh, YouTube, that's uh, youtube.com slash 18 Also, the audio versions are available on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Odess uh, Odyssey, and um, Amazon Music. Uh, also, one more thing to note is that we will not have a session uh, next week. Our next uh, game set will actually be on the 26th. So we'll be taking the week off next week, and then we'll be back on the 26th. Once again, I am Sierra Wolf. Thank you very much, and have a very good night. Bye-bye.